greetings of the day everyone so in this tutorial i'm going to show you guys how to set up your indexer as a search pair in the search engine so why i'm doing this is that um, i want two components so which is a search head and an indexer so both of that are the same software splunk enterprise so we have both two instances so the two instances we install splunk enterprise so we configure one of the instance such a way that it acts as a search head and another one as an indexer so the main reason we having a search head is that for that for us to have some kind of overview of all the stuff that has been acting in indexes so let's say we have 10 indexes so indexes are the place where we store data so let's say we consider four splunk instances which we configure as an indexer so all the data will be getting stored in there so we cannot going on each of the instance and check okay so what is this happening here what are the data there so if we have a search head we can configure these indexes as a search pair so that we can see all the stuff that has been happening in the let's say uh, health monitoring and say what are the stuff that's been there in search head so we have to do a necessary first step for that to do would be to set up an indexer as a search pair in search head so let's get on into the video we have two instances which is an indexer and a search head so both of these instances has splunk enterprise so we're going to do the configuration settings which makes this instance as a search head and this as an indexer so to just to be in a different space so i've click clear click i've google search head and then keep kept the splunk enterprise which is up and running for this instance and done the same for indexer so that for me i can understand easily so we'll just go into search it first so we're going to go in so credentials to go in which is in password and then you sign in i'm going to do the same to the index in the index instance which is also the splunk enterprise so basically this splunk enterprise will be acting as an indexer and this will be acting as a search head once both we we go into the both uh, so what we can go to is settings we go to distributed search and then we're going to click add search pair and then we're going to give as you can see this is the example so what we're supposed to do is we're going to have to use this ip address and the port Control C. So Control V. So we don't need the HTTP. So if you can see, it says manage eight zero eight nine. So MGMT port is nothing but management port. So we got to give that port eighty eighty nine. So this must be the index. So this must be the index IP and the remote username and remote password corresponds to the indexer. So the credentials which you use to log in into the indexer Splunk Enterprise, you have to give the same, which is I believe admin. Yes, admin. Password and then do this. Save. This is getting saved. We'll go to indexer and then we'll go to settings, forwarding and receiving. And we'll go to configure settings, configure receiving because we are going to send data from search head to the indexer. So we want it to be the default port. And then seven, and seven. So yeah, we'll save it. So now what we have to do is we have to go to GCP and then we have to go double click and then we have to go to the firewall so that we make the 997 port available for these two instances to access it. So we're gonna go right click open timeout. Just this time I'll just try this again. Connecting. 
understand the code. Since it's not a good PCP, and then say create show the case like that. Okay, no, no source that this is just zero, 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 a zero. It and destroy the try again. Clicking SHP was SHP and we'll try this there. So do I have to uh, open the port for 8089 too? I'm just not very clear about that. Maybe we'll try to do that too, so that to check if this fixes it. We we'll created for ingress. We have to keep the egress. So we're still getting this problem, okay. Come to open and come to save and try some public key to search for. Okay. Okay, we'll just cancel it. My password is create 88. Do we have 88? Let's just try create 88. Create. Just do a restart for the search. It. Restart. So we have all the postmen in the sun. Egress, yeah, egress. Okay, 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 let's check if this works. Okay, so it's refreshed again. Is the one that was already caught in it. Admin. Okay. Okay. Save. Oh, okay, so you have to like allow the port 8089 to use it. Okay, so this is how you add an indexer as a search pair in search head version of Splunk Enterprise. So check, take a look in the video that will be uploading and adding as an end element for this video. So the next video will be about how to forward data from search head to indexer. So you can understand that this 
is really acting as a search pair search pair so that the data is getting saved in the index instance so catch you in that video guys bye bye everyone